1111. Say hi to your angels. I'm making a video about angels, so thank you. They're around. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about angels. Hello again. My name is Crystal Ann Compton. I am an intuitive and a channel, and I work with a lot of people, and I receive questions from a lot of people, and even though I've made videos about angels, I still get more questions about angels. And so I want to just have a rolling dialogue and keep this in the consciousness and awareness that angels are actually beings that are available to us and who are here to facilitate our life process and to help us along the way. Now, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I never really believed in angels and I was an intuitive and I was doing readings and I was like, oh, yeah, angels, that's kind of a quaint idea. You know, people need to anthropomorphize energetic streams in order to feel comfortable working in the, like I was just I wasn't open to it I was experiencing what I was experiencing to be true and I really didn't have a need for an angel in my life and then one day my friend invited me to a class on angels and I said okay that sounds all right whatever you know I'm interested in metaphysics I'm open and I went to this amazing class led by this amazing woman who was working very specifically and closely with Archangel Raphael and at first I was like this woman has a peculiar energy and a strength and power of being. And I thought, I thought that was interesting. And what I realized now is that it wasn't her. It was the angel she had brought with her. And so I sat there and I listened to her talk about angels and working with angels. And then we went into a meditation. And this meditation was a group meditation. And we were calling in our angels and meeting them for the first time. And so I participated. I had an open mind. You have to have an open mind in this field. And... I encountered an angel and it was such an extremely powerful experience that I actually I feel like I seized a little bit I convulsed a little bit like I had energetic electrical zaps that were like rocking my whole body I'm not gonna go into that entire thing but I encountered an angel and he did appear to me as a man he didn't have wings but he appeared to me as a man in fact he was at the corner of the ceiling in the room and he twirled down like a spiral and he landed at my feet kind of like this and he looked up at me and I, again I'm like convulsing a little bit it was a huge experience and so from that moment on I knew angels were real although I still had the audacity to question him later and say okay well if that was really you um, after I seized and everything prove it to me put your name in my environment three times in the next week and then I'll believe that it was actually not my imagination because again for a channel, I'm really skeptical, even when I'm having a direct experience. I'm always checking that energy, people. And this angel absolutely put his name into my environment three times, and I knew, okay, this is a real thing here. This was a real energy. Like, that energy hit my body with such a force that it rocked me to my studs and my foundation. But here's my idea about what angels really are. Even though I experienced this angel um, in an anthropomorphic sense or he appeared as a man I know that he's not a man and what angels actually are are energy streams of a specific quality and what I'm talking about right now are the archangels because all the subclasses of angels originate from the archangels and are specific to one archangel just as we are specific and connected and related to one archangel but the archangels aren't men. They appear to some of us as men, and they show up on the scene sometimes as men or priests or something anthropomorphic, but they're not actually men. They just do that so that we can more easily interact with them. What they are are columns of powerful energy. In the beginning was God. God is the singularity, and out of God came the first phase of creation. And this phase of creation was and is contained in the form of the archangels. They are the first things ever created by God. And then God partners with the archangels. Together, they bring out the second phase of creation. So not unlike a father and a mother energy brings out a baby, so too did the archangels and the singularity bring out the second phase of creation. And this contains the subclasses of angels and other beings and interdimensionals and masters, etc., etc. And these partner then all together and bring about the next phase and so on and so forth. But these are energies. These are not people. And it's a quality of energy that we can access in this life. So if you want to work with angels, you don't have to believe in a being with wings. You don't have to even believe in a name for that angel. That's cool. And you can do that. And angels 
are okay with us doing that because they know it allows us to partner with them more easily because we're coming from our frame of reference and orientation, but it's completely not necessary. All you really have to do to work with angels is first of all, call them in, as they say a million times, and then give them specific permission. This is essential or else they will not work with you because this is a, a planet of free will. This is a dimension of free will. You have to give them permission and then give them a task. But when they come in, what I want you to do is go real neutral, people. Real neutral and feel their energy because they have a very specific signature. Michael, for example, has a really strong signature. You have to really be... We have to be ready for Michael's energy, especially when he displays himself um, in a very pure form. And he never displays himself as he actually is energetically because we would die. He stair steps it down as we climb stairs up to meet somewhere in the middle. Well, actually, he comes way down and we maybe take one or two steps up. And then we experience his energy and it bowls you over. It is very strong. Alternatively, the Archangel Jophiel has a very sweet sweet essence. It's also strong, but it's sweet and comforting and beautiful and serene and tranquil. It's just gorgeous, like pink. It's lovely. It's lovely energy. But you read the energy to know who the angel is, and you read the energy in order to tap into it and then direct it back into your life. I think what I'm trying to say here is that if you too were like I was, and you think angels and these little angel medallions and angel statues were just pretty quaint, but there's probably no angels, I want you to get right with the idea that there actually are angels, and you are related specifically to one archangel, and this archangel wants to have a presence in your life, and this doesn't have to be in the form of a man who talks to you at the foot of your bed. This is just an energy, and your archangel wants you to slip into that energy, utilize that energy, and direct that energy into your life. We can all do that. All we have to do is call them, give them permission, give them a task, and work with them, talk with them, interact with them. Then our life comes alive with the angelic. Believe me, I was surprised that day that I met the Archangel Gabriel. I was really, really surprised. He was so cool, too, how he came in. I was like, whoa, seized up, convulsed a little, but I was just really shocked and surprised. But I am so blessed that the angels shook me awake and said, hey, we are actually a thing here. We are actually an energy here, and we want to work with you. And so I said, yes. And I hope you say yes to the angels, too.